I'm in love. I'm obsessed. And I don't even feel guilty about it. No, I'm literally not kidding. Everything about me and my hair in this video is delectable. I've done ponytails on my channel in the past and I hate all of them. But this one... I love and I want to share with you guys how I did it so this is not my first time working with love me they've been on my channel before and they sent over this 13 by 4 body wave wig I love that it is a full frontal wig it's not short on the sides so the hairstyles you could do with this like you have so much variety so I love that and the hair is giving raw hair I don't know why but it's giving raw hair to me it's body wave but the curls were tighter before I bleached the knots it also comes with a band so you can make sure you're secure so let's go ahead and get started the first thing that I'm gonna do is clean my hairline from ear to ear with some alcohol this step is crucial especially if you do your makeup before you do your hair so now I have a clean hairline shape whatever you want to call it to lay my glue down at i like to start laying my glue down in the center and i always smooth it out with a rat tail comb love me sent me this comb it's so cute okay branding and like i said i smooth out my glue with the end of the rat tail comb and i really make sure that that layer is even and really smooth so i go over it until like it's just really flat and it's gonna dry clear and there's no lumps or clumps of glue anywhere so it should look like this and then I move on to my temple area and my sideburns area. Girl, I was trying to film on TikTok and I wasn't even filming. Can you believe it? But as you can see, I keep my glue in the same shape of my bald cap. And my bald cap is molded in the same shape of my hairline. I do have a little bit of a widow's peak, but I didn't like map that out for this hairstyle because I just feel like I didn't want no widow's peak on a ponytail this time. Like, let's just keep it regular but yeah I'm smoothing it out the glue just like I did in the center and I'm gonna smooth it out completely no lumps no clumps I like to break down the sections that I lay my glue at because by the time I'm done with this section look the other side is already clear which means that I could go in and start off with my second layer back at the top in the middle and I'm just gonna zoom through this because we already know what's up if it's your first time on my channel hey girl hey but go check out some other videos of mine if you want some extra extra detail about how to lay glue so while I was waiting on the glue to dry down I went ahead and I hot combed the hairline another key step if you want your installs to be as neat as possible sometimes when you put the wigs on it can grab onto the cap and the cap would like bunch up under the lace so I just had to pull the cap down before I started combing in this wig in the center to make sure that the cap was not bunched up because you could see it under the lace if you part through your lace but now I'm laying down the temples and the side areas. Once I align the hairline to the edges of the glue, then I take my comb and I start combing it in so that it can start melting the lace. I wanted to make sure that the other side was tacked down well enough before I let down before I let it go. So once I saw that it was not going to go nowhere, then I let it go and I started semi melting I guess you could say my lace into the glue on this side and then I did the same thing for the side burn area. Once I had my wig completely on, I like to go and tie my wig down with like a silk band first, something soft. And then I put that stretchier, you know, harder band on top and I blow dry for like about 10 minutes or less. It depends how lazy I'm being. When I take the band off, I start cutting the excess. So I did bring the hairline a little bit past the edges of the glue in the center. So that's why I'm having to cut off some hair because I bought this past the glue and I don't like my forehead to look that small anyway. So I don't mind cutting off this excess hair as opposed to adding more glue just so I could keep this hair. I don't mind. So I'm cutting that off and when I cut off, I like to cut like in a zigzag pattern. You can use a razor to do this too, but I just prefer my scissors. So after I cut off the center of the lace, I kept going doing the same thing for the sides. I lined up the sides pretty accurately to the glue so I didn't really have to cut off much excess hair. But I noticed that this little 
ear tab was not laying down and I know that I didn't want to cut it off before I laid it down because I didn't want to cut too much lace off that I actually might need so I added a little bit more glue and I smoothed it out with my rat tail comb when it dried clear then I tacked that back down but before I cut it I started cutting the other side just to give it some time to dry a little bit so it won't just start tripping and then I went back and I cut my ear tabs and I cut around my ear so that my ear could lay comfortably and that the lace could lay comfortably on top of my ear without crushing my ear because if you wear wigs you know that that is some real pain if you don't cut the ear tabs correctly so the other side was also needing some more glue so I added the glue there tacked it down when it dried clear I blow dried it a little bit just so I could get it you know starting to melt so it don't start just moving too soon and then I kept cutting off my excess lace the areas around my sideburns go a little bit further back than my temple area so that's why I had to cut some excess hair and now I'm cutting above my ear cutting the shape of my ear out so that it could lay comfortably and I like to use spritz lately to melt my lace for the second time I go directly on top of the lace with spritz and immediately I got to take my bands and tie it down because too much moisture too soon might make my wig start lifting so after blow drying it for 10 minutes it looks delectable I love melting my lace with spritz um it can make the hairline kind of crunchy so that's why I just combed it out but I've been so desperado to do a ponytail so that's what I'm going to do today. I parted out some hair to cover up the tracks in the back just a little bit. You don't need that much. This part is not going to show that much anyway. And then I sprayed some got to be spray on it and I brushed the hair back making it nice and neat and I topped it off with some spritz because lately I just really like my spritz over any other hairspray and I blow dried the hair down and I put the hair that's in the back in a ponytail just so it could stay out my way um, hot combing my roots back I didn't have to do that but I just wanted to start getting my ponytail flat and to part out my baby hair I do a curved part I don't just go straight in a straight line I do like a curve to part out the baby hair and I hot comb the baby hair that I want to use forward and I hot comb the rest of the hair back so that so that it doesn't mix in with each other and like get in my way and bother me as I'm trying to do my hair I make sure that everything is even and if it's not then I go ahead and I correct that because I need symmetry and now I'm parting out my sideburns I like to do like a diagonal line from my hairline to the front of my ear and this is what it usually looks like and I hot comb that going forward as well I want to pluck out some hair on my baby hair because I don't want it too thick I'm tired of the super thick baby hair phase that I was going through um let's simmer down and let's take it down a notch and by taking it down a notch, we're going to take it up a notch. But I like to cut my baby hair in like a diagonal line so it goes from longest to shortest. And I do that for all the hair that I left out as baby hair to make sure that the roots are flat and that, I don't know, it just looks neater to me. I use the got to be gel first the one in the yellow bottle I get the roots nice and flat with that I only put it on the roots and then I take mousse I'm using the Nairobi mousse and I use that and I start swooping the hair I'm letting y'all see me swoop the hair in real time so y'all can see how long it takes me but if you're interested in any of the products that I'm using then all of them are linked in my Amazon storefront I actually didn't want my baby hair that long so I cut the ends off a little bit I added a little bit more mousse and then I continue to swoop 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 I have a detailed baby hair tutorial on YouTube, but I did that over a year ago. You could go watch it if you still want more detail, but I think I'm going to do another one for y'all soon. So after I finished my sideburn swoop, I'm going into my other swoop and I do the same thing. I lay down the roots with gel and then I add some mousse and I swoop that into the rest of the hair. I don't want my baby hair to look like it's away from the hair. So I merge them together towards the ends. I swoop it together together. Um, into the rest of the hair that's gonna go into the ponytail you'll see me do that soon like 
give me a second okay yeah like right now you see like i'm trying to make it look cohesive i'm trying to make it look like all of this hair is like joining the rest of the hair it's not a separate hairstyle from this hairstyle it's all the same hair dude that makes sense i just i don't know when i do my baby hair now i want to make sure that they're conjoined and yeah i did the other side off camera but i blow dried it a little bit um so that it could dry with cool air and now i'm gonna start molding my ponytail i plucked this hair and this frontal was not overly thick so i feel like this ponytail was gonna lay easy um I sprayed my got to be and my spritz. I was generous with it and then I used my comb to really mold each individual hair in the direction that I wanted to go in in the ponytail and then I tied the ponytail. Don't feel bad if your ponytail is not straight or don't come out right the first time because I did this like four times and the last time I did it, I had to get off camera and go stand directly in front of the mirror. So we all know if you do a half up, half down on a frontal, the ponytail is gonna look hungry it's 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 thin so I'm adding some extra tracks by adding some bonding glue on the tracks and just wrapping it wrapping it around that rubber band every time it come back around to me I add some more glue and I keep wrapping it until it gets to the end of the track and I add as much tracks as I needed to to make my ponytail look good I sprayed the tracks with spritz and then I blow dry them just to give it some extra hold and this looks so much better than what it would have looked like had I not added some tracks. So now I could take the hair in the back out the ponytail and this is what it looks like. These tracks that I had laying around actually matches this texture of this love me hair and it looks really pretty but I'm not in the mood for curly hair I want to make it straight but before I do that I want to cover up these tracks by taking out a piece of hair from out the ponytail and I'm gonna comb it to make sure it's smooth because you're gonna see this and then I'm gonna be generous with my hairsprays because this is what's gonna this is the only thing that's gonna keep it wrapped around I'm not using nothing else but the hairspray I use the hairspray and then I just wrap that hair around all the way till I get to the very end and once I got to the end I made sure that I blow dried it blow dried it until it was dry because like I said I don't want it to unravel I'm not adding nothing else that's just how it's gonna stay and this looks so much better if I had like a big scrunchie I would put it there too but I didn't have one but yeah, like I said, I was in the mood for straight hair, so I sprayed my favorite heat protectant. You can find it on my storefront, and I'm just flat ironing my hair. After my hair was straight, I was a happy girl. I was like, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. I started feeling myself, but the hair was cute the length that it was but I just wanted to do a blunt cut like boob length so I did that and then I bumped the ends and I was done with my hair I love this hairstyle I'm obsessed with it I like it's my probably my favorite video on my channel right now if I look a little bit yellow I was trying out a new concealer and clearly it's not my shade but everything else top tier thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye